All hell the beard, it's your boy Big Beard B and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business! And don't forget to hit the what? Get out my chair, man! Hell you doing? Rookies and amateurs always trying to take my spot. All hell the beard, it's your boy Big Beard B and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business! Today, man, I'm back with my second installment of my top 10 pickups for 2017. Now listen. I got stuff on the way, but I can't really judge them, all right? So if you guys don't know, I did a video on this maybe midway through the year, right? So what I decided to do was, I'm going to keep you guys updated on what I'm buying. You know, what fragrances have piqued my interest? And now, since we are at the end of the year, I have 10 that are my most, these are my most proud purchases of 2017. Now I'm gonna try to do this twice a year, so going forward, just know mid-year and end of the year, you get in this video. So let's get into it. So number 10 on the list comes from the house of Joe Malone, and it is none other than Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Wood Sage and Sea Salt is one that I went back and forth, back and forth with for months before actually deciding to pull a trigger on this. I usually only associated Joe Malone fragrances for women fragrances because they were light, they were dainty, but the, no, man, I was wrong. I smelled this one originally in Neiman Marcus and I didn't buy it, but I liked it a lot and I kept going back to it, back to it, back to it, and then I finally <laughs> pulled the trigger, man. Went and grabbed this thing. Now, I personally believe Wood Sage and Sea Salt is a unisex fragrance. Now, I chose this one to be on today's list more so for the scent than the performance. I'm not sure if this is an EDT or cologne concentration. I mean, it does say cologne, but so it's probably a cologne concentration. It does not last long, but the scent itself is awesome in my personal opinion. Um, if you guys try this below, let me know what you think about it. Number 10, Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Number nine comes from the house of Prada. It is none other than Prada's Luna Rosa Carbon. Now this one is the 2017 release. And if you watch the channel for any amount of time this year, then you should know this typically falls in my list. Now I think for my midway point, this was number one. And right now, it's number nine. Now this one is jam packed with notes of Ambroxan and it also has companion notes of patchouli, lavender, and wood. Now I personally feel that this one is a dumb grab. It can be used for almost any occasion and in my personal opinion, it's a more refined version of Dior Sauvage and an excellent alternative. So if you're walking around in Sauvage land and you have a bunch of savages around you, be a man, be more high class and rock you some Prada Luna Rosa carpet. Now number eight, I think it's still packed, man. I done went through and grabbed all these fragrances out and forgot number eight. Um, so it probably should have been number 10. <laughs> no, just joking. <laughs> no, man, uh, obviously all the colognes are still packed up. I went through and I grabbed all the fragrances. I thought I had it, but I didn't. So we're gonna magically make our picture appear. Boom, there. It's there, okay? So number eight is Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanc. Now this one made it to a few of my lists this year. This one is an oriental fragrance and it has a well-balanced blend between freshness and warmth. This one is a mixture of citrus, sandalwood, and Haitian vetiver. I've heard others in the community describe this one as a lemon meringue pie. It has lemon, it's zesty. It is a awesome fragrance, good for personal wear, office wear, and I don't really think you can go wrong with it. If you haven't got your nose on it yet, then get to it! Number seven on my list comes from the House of Parfums Vintage, and it is none other than Pineapple Vintage Intense. Now this one is kind of new in my collection. I've had it for maybe a month and a half or so, but definitely one I am happy I was able to get my hands on. Before actually grabbing this one, hearing some reviews out there, I thought I was going to be disappointed when I grabbed this fragrance, but no, this one was really nice and lived up to everything that I've heard about it. And contrary to a couple salty ass comments out there, I have used this bottle. I just have a lot, a lot of fucking colognes, okay? So I use this one a lot in the few, you know, month, month and a half, two months that I had this fragrance. It gets used. I like this shit. And number seven on my motherfucking list. Thank you. Now that that's out the way, I've recommended this fragrance to so many people on Snapchat, on Instagram, through the comments. Now, you still know my personal thoughts and opinions. If you want Aventus, save your money up and buy Aventus. But if you have no desire to pay the 455, 
If you have no desire to peruse around through those sites to determine what's real and what's fake, then go ahead and get this one. I think it's 90, 95 bucks. You'll be good to go. And um, I would tell you to tell them Big Bear B sent you, but there's no discount code, so it won't matter any damn way. Number six on the list comes from the house of Bob Replica, and it's Jazz Club. Now, when I dropped the By the Fireplace review, you guys sent me a ton of requests for Jazz Club. I have the fragrance, but I just have not gotten around to doing a review yet, I don't think. So I'll definitely get this one out to you guys soon. This is by far one of the best recommendations I've received from you guys, and uh, obviously it's one of the best purchases I've made this year. To me, this one is tobacco and cocktails. It has notes of musk, vanilla, and tonka bean. It's light, but it garners a ton of compliments. If you haven't gotten this, make sure you get your nose on it. To me, it is an extremely smart buy. Alright guys, so now we at the halfway point. It's getting real. It's getting real. And number five is really an awesome fucking fragrance. And it comes from the house of Tom Ford. What is it? Anthracite. No. That shit is shit. Number five on the list is Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. To me, Noir Extreme is a must-have in any fragrance collection. This one captures the man who wants to be extraordinary. It has notes of cardamom, orange flower, amber, and sandalwood. It's a nice mature but sweet scent. You can wear this at the office. You can wear this out on the date night. And, um... You're gonna get compliments. I really like this one, and it's made it on a ton of my list this year, so obviously, it's one of the best buys for me for 2017. Number four on the list also comes from the house of Tom Ford, and it's none other than Tom Ford's Great Vetiver. Now, I guess I'll address this now, because I know some of you will ask, and I guess it makes sense for me to address it. This one is the EDP version, not the ED. T version. To me, this is a perfectly blended and provocative fragrance mixed with notes of grapefruit, nutmeg, vetiver, and oak moss. This one is a workhorse and good for personal and business wear. Number three on the list comes from the house of Nezma, and it's Nezma number seven. Now, this one is no stranger to the channel, but I actually don't hear about it much in the fragrance community. So it is my job to make sure that you guys are well informed of gems out there. And this one is a gem. This one has an interesting story behind it. The number seven represents the seventh daughter. If you want to know more about this line, then I'll link it below. Just click on the link, it'll take you over there. You can read all about it. I don't have enough time to talk about it today, but interesting story behind it. Next one, number seven is a super blend of coconut, neroli, grapefruit, and it has so much depth to it, and I just love it. Now, this one has made it in multiple lists on the channel, so you guys know this is a gym and one of the top ones for this year. Nezma number seven, ooh line, don't sleep on it. So here's the deal. Well, number two, a large part of me doesn't want to tell you guys about this, but I already have before, so I guess if you've seen it once, then you already know. But number two on the list comes from the House of Replica as well, and it's by the fireplace. Yeah, when I said by the fireplace, you really heard a fireplace crackling in your ear, didn't you? This one is Holidays in a Bottle, and it smells exactly as the name states, like you're by a fireplace or a campfire. It's all the same to me. This one is to die for. Well, I mean, don't die for it. This one is Holidays in a Bottle and smells exactly as the name states, like you're by the fireplace. Now, this one was made to be a unisex fragrance and one of the few unisex fragrances that I truly believe can be pulled off by a man or a woman and truly transforms depending on who's wearing it. You have pink pepper, clove, a vanilla core, and chestnut really bring this one to life. Now in the number one spot, we have another 2017 release. Now I don't know if this one really needs to be introduced. If we really need to have an introduction, because I'm sure a lot of you guys out there know what's in the number one spot. But fuck it, here it go. This one, Black Phantom. This one is for the Phantom at the fragrance community. And what do I mean? I mean the ones of you out there who are the dark horses. The ones who love to smell like they should be eaten. Oh, you like gourmand fragrances? Then you're gonna love Black Phantom. Now the tagline on this one is Momentum Mori and I believe that was based on some pirates. 
all right? But this one is like Irish coffee. Now, I talked about this one a lot this year. I rated this one a perfect 10 out of 10, all things considered. Performance, smell, the presentation, even though I said fuck the box, I paid extra for this. You can't beat it. This is the number one pickup for me for 2017. I mean, I've said all that can be said about it. If you haven't heard about the fragrance, then click here because I talked about it a lot. I love the fragrance. You will too. I personally um, recommend it to a lot of people out there. Get your nose on it, and I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it. All right, guys, so that's my top 10 list for this year. But also, I want to give an honorable mention because last week I dropped the video at the top five fragrances I want to buy this winter. And Layton was like a landslide, right? That one went with a landslide, so I blind bought that one. It's on the way, so I'll let you guys know what I think about it once I get it. Now, comment below and let me know what you guys purchased this year. What was your favorite pickups of this year? Did I help you pick up anything, or did you do it all on your own? I'm your boy, Big B and B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend that we back again! Hit your goddamn bell!